Uh, I'm Paul Hendry. I'm a hematologist. I'm from the West Coast at uh, the Fred Hutchison Cancer Center uh, in Seattle. Um, I've been part of the ECDGA board since 2019. Um, and, you know, I, I have a lot of stuff that I do at work, taking care of patients, and I do a lot of administration. But the most, some of the most meaningful stuff I do is the volunteer work with the, with the board here. And in part, I want to thank you all here, uh, the patients and, and the caregivers. Um, because if it wasn't for you finding us, which I know sometimes has been a battle, but Kathy has helped um, with, with the pathfinding for that. Um, and then, you know, accepting us and, and having us as, as your uh, providers and, and, and such, um, you know, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have a job if it, if it wasn't for you. So again, thank, thank you all uh, very much. I'm gonna just flip through this just to see exactly what we have as, as far as slides go here. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm not familiar with any of these slides here. Yeah. You know, you know, you know as, 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 a, as a physician and, and you meet a, a patient and you have your, your guidelines, your, you know, these, these are the ECD guidelines for taking care of, of patients, but then you have the patient and they're going to give you their own stuff. And so sometimes you have to, uh, for lack of a better word, wing it a little bit. You have to do personalized care uh, and do what, what what is in front of you. Um, Talking about the survey thing, the card, the pink one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, now I've lost everything. Um, so I, I will talk, uh, yeah. So what, <laughs> one of the things I do have uh, is one, the ability to speak. The, the second is uh, Kathy has very kindly put together a poster that has most of the things that I was going to talk about uh, as far as where we, how we've got to where we are today um, over many, many, many years. Um, but during the first many of those many years, not much happened. But in the last uh, 12 to 14 years, we've had a great... Uh, Oh, I could just see it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's so many wonderful people that I get to work with. Um, and that's why I, I love being part of this group. Uh, thanks, Kathy. So this disease, the third time Chester disease was, oops, I don't want to do that. Can we just turn off the uh, projector, please? Oh, maybe, maybe we got it here. There I am. <laughs> nice job up there in the booth. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, what is my time now? I got 36 seconds left here. <laughs> all right. So, anyways, uh, this is a, a you know, a thousand foot overview of, of the history of EC, ECD. And, and as you can see, not much happened in the first, uh, you know, 70 some years. Uh, the diagnosis, the, the, the description of it ba started back in 1930. And for many years, it wasn't much treatment at all. And, and the survival was, was pretty short and the life was pretty difficult for the patients. Devel development of treatment started around 2007, and along came Kathy and her and her group, and, and formed the ECG Global Alliance in 2008. And everything's happened since then, so we have to give Kathy a lot of credit there, right? Um, but the organization uh, started putting together grants starting in 2010. Uh, Juvie and, and at uh, NIH uh, started a natural history uh, study in 2011. And in 2012, uh, there was the, the discovery of a mutation and then other related mutations that uh, uh, helped us understand better what caused this disease. And in such, we could better diagnose this 
and then better treat it. So this was uh, kind of a landmark uh, time at, in, in 2012. The first medical symposium patient gathering was 2013. Uh, uh, the registry at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering was started in 2014 uh, and the care centers uh, were first established in 2015. We then move on and, and in, in 2017, um, we had a, the first FDA uh, drug that was approved for this uh, rare disease. And, and just uh, you know, understand this was pretty remarkable. Um, the, a disease as, as rare as paradigm chest disease actually had a drug that was FDA approved. And, and this allowed us, at least in, in the United States, to, to treat patients and, and, and get them the appropriate uh, state-of-the-art treatment for them. In 2020, there was over 100 papers published uh, on ECD. Um, we set NCCN guidelines that are available for, for physicians across the, the country and, and available across the world on, on how they, they can treat so that when patients go to their doctor, even if they haven't seen ECD before, um, they know where to start and they know how, how to contact us. And then in 2022, we, we had the second drug. So this rare disease now has two FDA drugs approved. There's many diseases out there that have no FDA drugs approved. And we, we, have, we have two of them now. So this, this is through the work of many of the people associated with our, our community here. We have a lot of things to do here in the future. Um, they're listed here, but for time, I'm gonna continue to try to move on here and, and get back on schedule. Um, the ECG GA program accomplishments over, over the years have, have been many, as you guys have probably know. And again, they're, I think they're on the poster as well. We've had eight medical symposiums and patient, patient gatherings. And again, one of the uh, unique and wonderful things about this is they're together, that both the, the scientists and the physicians are coming, but also the patients and caregivers are all, all here together. This is, this is not like all medical meetings are not, not typical of this. Um, in addition, there's been five regional meetings. We've had uh, specially, uh, uh, we've had uh, booths at specialty conferences, uh, you know, at the American Society of Hematology just back in December. Many grand rounds at, at, at medical centers across the country have, have taken place. We have a website, uh, as many of you know, uh, and many um, brochures and, and both for uh, medical professions and uh, patients have been produced. There's uh, educational uh, webinars out there and very uh, important to, to me because I've, I've taken, uh, had the opportunity to take part in, in helping to get it out there as, as the ECDGA has uh, awarded over $1.2 million for research for, for this uh, specific disease. And so that's it's, it's wonderful. There are now 34 care centers across 14 countries. We have now a patient navigator, Belinda, uh, is here in the back. Uh, she's uh, here to help when, the, when uh, the patients and the caregivers contact us and to get through the, the system, get, get their care. Uh, there, there's uh, monthly chat sessions available um, for both patients and for caregivers. We can support um, 11 languages, uh, which is pretty amazing. And, and name your social media and we're, we're on there someplace. So, um, Terrific work by, by, by the organization. Some of our goals moving forward, and these, these are you know, just very broad uh, uh, strokes of the goals. They have, we have more specific goals as well, but, but one is, is to, to get more of our patients uh, diagnosed early. Um, we, we, need, we need to do that. We need, we need to get that, that out there. We need to continue to support the research and improve the quality of life of, of our, our patients. We need to continue to build a stronger uh, global community. That's in making sure that when, when patients with, uh, either without diagnosis or with the diagnosis, that they can go and, and, and see a, uh, a, a physician that, that has the ability then, then to understand what to do next um, as far as the testing and the treatment goes. And then for our organization, our, uh, the Global Alliance, um, you know, it's done a, a whole lot, but we need to be able to figure out how do we keep it going? We've got a really good thing going and how, how do we keep, keep moving forward with that? And so that's our, our fourth goal there. In your package, there should be a pink card there. And, and um, all four of these 
listed are all things that we should do, but we, we'd like to try to rank them some. Help, help, help us out here um, and uh, give, us, uh, give us where you think our, our, our emphasis should be in the ne next uh, few years. And we need you. Um, we need all of you. Uh, so we turn that, that uh, card in. Um, and if you're able in, in whatever fashion, um, please, you know, volunteer your, your, your skills and, and talents. And, you know, uh, we continue to reach out for, for, for donors and, uh, and, and donations uh, for this cause. We've, we've been very fortunate. Um, I don't know if we have this slide anymore, but uh, most of our donations come from individuals. Um, the vast majority of the, the ECG comes from individuals. So we're, we're fortunate we have some uh, large ones from some uh, individuals and some, some corporations, but uh, most of them are from people like yourselves. Uh, this is from the other night. <laughs> um, and then uh, lastly, just uh, I want to show you some of the beautiful uh, smiling faces uh, of, of people involved and and their, their smiles are beautiful, but really uh, what's beautiful is what's inside them and, and their, uh, their participation in our group. So this is our e ECD GA staff, and then a list of some, some of our, our fantastic volunteers. Our wonderful hosts again, uh, again, smiling faces, but more important, the, the beautiful hearts in, inside our, our, our board members and then our medical advisory board there. So thank you all. Uh, thank you for putting up with uh, the technical difficulties um, and I hope you enjoy the session today. <laughs>